Hey guys, week two of retrain just begun and I'm kicking it off with an American favorite dinner. I have made a keto pizza crust. Um, obviously it's just the crust right now. All my recipes I find on Pinterest by looking up keto stuff and just making sure that all the stuff fits into my retrain diet. All the stuff that's in this crust does, so I'm good to go there. So it's going to be another exciting night. I still have some leftover keto brownies. So what other diet do you know that you get to have pizza and brownies with? Take a look at the very tops of each of those little mountains. We're here at the Snore and Roar Safari Camp in San Diego. We are staying here with Wounded Warrior Project. They're in the bags. There it is. This camera's really good. Stop, stop, stop. I'm gonna see in the camera. I want to see in the camera. Hey guys, so I am wrapping up week number two of retrain. Um, I am here at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. There's some elephants behind me. We are here with Wounded Warrior Project doing a roar and snore sleepover. Um, so we're taking a few days off to go to San Diego and enjoy a family vacation. Um, I am staying on plan with this vacation. Kids had s'mores last night and popcorn and I just had some coffee. Um, I've been able to stay on plan with the catering they're providing, just having to pick and choose what I can eat and cannot eat. Um, we're getting a lot of exercise, a lot of walking in, which is nice, um, seeing a lot of animals. So um, stay with me throughout the weekend to show you some relaxing time. We're leaving here later this afternoon to go to the ocean for a few days. That will be nice. Um, so here's to wrapping up week two and another great video. It is day three of our vacation and also the start of week three of Rain Train. I am at Camp Pendleton and Marine Base at their private beach resort, Del Mar. Beautiful ocean views. Um, we've rented a cabana for the day and a villa here on the beach and my kids are off body surfing, which is very exciting and makes me very nervous at the same time. How do you stay on plan when you're on vacation? Um, I honestly think the beach is the easiest place to stay on plan. I mean, granted, there's taco trucks and snow cone trucks and s'mores and all that stuff, but you can bring food to the beach. So again, that all goes back to planning and prepping. Um, we went to the exchange, which is like, is like a Walmart here on base, and I bought all the snacks and stuff I could use for today. And then at lunchtime we'll grab some lunch and dinner. Our villa has a kitchen and I can cook so I can control what I eat. So again, it goes all back to planning ahead. This is the day after vacation. This day is always horrible for multiple reasons. One, you have to do all that laundry. You have to unpack. I'm still finding sand everywhere. Um, I'm exhausted. So hence the no makeup and crazy hair, I have no energy. And now I have to go take three tests. Um, but this weekend was worth every moment, every dollar. Um, what's funny is usually after vacation, you get home, that dreaded scale weigh in. You know, that 10 pound bloat vacation weight because you let yourself eat whatever you want, um, all the alcohol. Well, let me tell you, I had a blast on vacation. I had phenomenal food. I had lobster, crab, shrimp right on the ocean. I had an amazing time. And what's funny is I even had some alcohol on the beach as well. Um, no working out besides obviously that dreaded walk through the sand that is horrible. Um, 
I got on the scale this morning because I didn't have a scale while I was gone and still in the safety range. My metabolism is doing so well that it survived a vacation. Now did I splurge like I used to on vacations and eat all this fast food and junk? No, but we ate out every meal for four days and sometimes I was at fast food places, but I stayed on plan and look at how successful I am. I'm still in that safety range and I'm still on track. So last week of retrain, got a few more days left of retrain and then it's back on reduce. So it's been a few days since we got back from vacation and when I got back from vacation I had told you guys that I hadn't gained any weight. Um, so I guess I was a little bloated even. I weighed myself today. I've got two more days left of retrain and I am actually down 0.6 from my lowest that I was at reduce. So that's really exciting. Um, I have extra kids today, as you can see. We are heading to the mall. We are going out for dinner tonight. So we're gonna go find some new clothes to wear at dinner. Um, just had lunch. The kids had Wendy's. What's your guys' favorite thing about Wendy's? Bacon! Bacon! <laughs> Bacon sandwich and soda. Yeah. So obviously I didn't get to enjoy all of that. But um, <laughs> you guys, keep hanging out with us. We're heading to the mall right now Yay. and I'm um, going to have an exciting night of some dinner and the trampoline park. I love the trampoline park. Yeah. Today is my last day of retrain. Um, I just weighed and I lost another half a pound. It brings me down a total of a whole pound since I've started retrain. Um, so it's kind of funny because on vacation I was eating about 2,000 calories a day if not more. Um, so I'm guessing my body's kind of adjusting to that drop in calories right now. Um, which brings me to the subject of retrain. People tend to under eat on retrain because they are terrified of gaining weight and people hate maintaining weight for getting the important process of retrain is to retrain that hypothalamus in the lower part of your brain and test that metabolism. So me, I'm eating as much as I can and I'm bringing up that calorie rate as much as I can to get into, um, stay in that safety zone. But I want my body to get higher and higher so that way when I jump back on reduce tomorrow, my body's gonna lose weight. So people always get frustrated their second time around why their body's not losing weight because you didn't do retrain properly. You didn't test that metabolism. How do you not test something if you don't constantly push it farther and farther along and see what you can and cannot do and what foods you can and cannot eat? So I encourage you, all of you who are on retrain or are starting retrain, push the limit. Get as high as you can and stay in that safety zone. Um, I think I probably could have pushed my body farther than I did, um, but you know, it, it is kind of hard. The body can only eat so much, <laughs> but keep going. Here's to a great first retrain session. Tomorrow starts reduced. So excited. Again, make sure you like, thumbs up, subscribe to this video. I want you to know that you guys like these videos still, that you guys are still with me and can't wait to see my re results for reduce and I get to start red light again tomorrow and that's exciting. So you guys have a great week and I'll catch you on the next video. Hey guys, it's Dr. Kathleen Nash and I'm interrupting our regularly scheduled vlog with Sarah because she's hitting on a topic that is crucially important to your long-term success and that is your ability to do the retrain phase of your program properly. So <clears throat> to get into that, to start with that, let's talk about why I put retrain phase into a metabolic program in the first place. There are several things that are going to dictate how fast or how slow your body loses body fat and how easy or how difficult it's going to be for the body to lose body fat. For women, it is extremely more complex than it is for men. The biggest reason that women have a much harder time is because a woman's body is specifically designed to create a baby and to carry a baby to term. 
So not only do our bodies have to deal with their survival instinct and the evolutionary process of a survival instinct, but we've also got to deal with the fact that the body is always considering for a woman's body that it may get pregnant and it may have to carry and feed and nourish a baby for nine, month, for nine months. I don't care if you're 70. I don't care if you've had a hysterectomy. I don't care if you sit down and have a long face-to-face -face talk with your body in the mirror that you're really not going to get pregnant during this time mm -hmm. and to please cooperate. Your body chemically believes that at any given time it can get pregnant. As a result, any body fat that it has accumulated, our women, our woman's body, desperately wants to keep it. As a result, here's what happens when a woman goes on a diet and it's a little bit different than when a man does. One, our body's metabolism adapts faster. What does that mean? It means our bodies very quickly recognize when the calorie numbers go down and begins to change the amount of calories it burns on a daily basis to match it. Why? Because it desperately wants to keep the fat on the body in case the body gets pregnant. So one, our bodies adapt, our metabolism adapts fast. Two, the number of calories that we burn on a daily basis compared to a man is significantly lower. On average, it can be anywhere from 500 calories a day to 800 calories a day lower than what a man burns. And that's simply because we don't carry as much muscle on the body and we're not as big as men. So even if you're carrying a lot of body fat, maybe you have 100 pounds to lose, 150 pounds to lose, the body still doesn't burn as many calories on a daily basis as a man's body does. And three, we have hormonal events that trigger our body and how it loses weight. So our hormones, because of our period, because of our cycle, so sorry if guys are watching this, but 98% of my clients are women, so I'm specifically talking to women. Our cycle fluctuates our hormones on a daily basis. Every day our hormones are going up and down and left and right and all over the place. And it has a significant impact on our body's ability to lose fat. I will give you examples. Let's say that I have you weighing yourself every day, which I do, mainly so that I can see an average trend of what your body is doing, not that I expect it to lose weight every day. But you guys get so caught up in that number that you get stressed out. Well, when a woman gets stressed out, she's going to suddenly start creating a whole lot of cortisol problems. Cortisol imbalances are going to stop your body's ability to lose weight. Maybe a week or two weeks before your period, this is a second example, maybe a week or two before your period, your body's going to start retaining water like crazy. That's going to have an impact on your scale weight. So just know, as a female creature, you are very, very special and unique. And I want you to look at it as being special and unique. Don't look at it as being, you know, a bad thing or a detriment or a disadvantage, okay? So just know, right off the bat, as when you're trying to lose weight and you're a woman, you're going to be behind the eight ball from several different factors. Your metabolism is going to adapt quicker. You have so many more hormones that are affecting whether your body is going to lose weight or not and you already burn 500 to 800 calories less on a daily basis than a man does. This makes a retrain phase crucially important for you to do properly. The retrain phase gives your body, a woman's body in particular, but gives the body the break it needs from calorie restriction. It allows your metabolic rate to be pushed back up to maintenance calorie levels and done so for a period of two to three weeks, we recommend three, so we push for three. Your job is to push your calorie limit as high as you possibly can in those three week periods before the body starts showing a weight gain. So when we say minimum of 1500 calories, we mean just that minimum of 1500 calories a day. And if you stay there for two or three days and your body doesn't gain, then you need to very quickly start bringing it up 1550, 1600. And as you saw in Sarah's case, she took it to almost 2100 calories, probably could have taken it even higher and her body didn't gain. In fact, she ended up losing on average a pound in that three week period. 
Second thing it's going to do is test that we're correcting the metabolism. Remember, in our country, the fattest country on the planet, we have a 95% failure rate. That means that people that lose weight in our country, 95% of them are gonna gain it back within a year. My long-term goal for you is not only to lose weight and not only to lose it at an accelerated manner, but for you to not gain the weight back. One of the best things you can do to make sure that you don't gain the weight back is to give yourself these periodic breaks where you're rebalancing your hormones, where you're testing your metabolism, where you're giving yourself a mental break, where you're trying different kinds of foods to see how your body reacts. It lets you see that you can keep the weight off long term. So please, please, please bookmark this video, keep it, put it in like your watch later playlist and refer to it whenever you go on retrain, that the goal is to raise that metabolic rate back up, to rebalance hormones like leptin, like insulin, like glucagon, like cortisol, like progesterone, to reset your thyroid levels so that when you go to do the calorie deficit again, one, your weight will have maintained, and two, you will have given yourself a cushion so that as you reduce the calories again, your body will lose. 100% of my clients, if they don't do retrain properly, have a really dismal second cycle. They still lose, but it's much, much slower. And we know from experience it's because they barely ate enough on the retrain phase. They didn't attack retrain phase the way we outline when we have that retrain phase appointment. So again, I hope you're enjoying the videos. I hope you're enjoying the Sarah series. We're really enjoying doing them. I edit them, so I really enjoy watching Sarah go through the journey too. Make sure that you like this video. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. This way you're going to be notified every time a new video comes up. Also, let us know if there's any other content that you wanna see, and we'll do our best to keep you satisfied and entertained. So from Dr. Nash and everybody here at Total Transformation, peace out.